I have seen a lot of different groups of people complaining about the Gear 5 Luffy. Hindi tayo nandito para pag-usapan yung mga taong yun. Yung mga taong hindi alam yung One Piece, yung mga taong hindi napanood yung One Piece, o yung mga taong basically hate yung One Piece. Hindi tayo para pag-usapan yung mga One Piece fans, pero hate na hate ang Gear 5 Luffy, o ang context ng Gear 5 Luffy. I grew up watching Dragon Ball. That was my childhood anime. Tumaabot na ako sa mga, you know, medyo nag medyo nag-teenager na, nagkakaisip-isip na. Meron malapit kong computer shop na nagbebenta uh, ng mga anime. And doon ko na panood ng Naruto, Bleach, and yours truly, One Piece. Bleach talaga unang pinanood ko kasi akala ko mga swordsman. But no, it's built different. Na-feed niya yung expectations ko dahil as a Dragon Ball fan, mahilig ako sa mga malaking explosions and, you know, big fights. Naruto was amazing dahil ang ganda lagi ng pagkakasulat nito ng drama, ng story, everything. Talagang maratouch ng Naruto yung heart mo. Yun yung point ng Naruto. And Dragon Ball, you know, the point ng Dragon Ball is to be stronger, to keep going stronger, fighting people, you know, to be strong. Yun yung point ng Dragon Ball. Pero One Piece, sinabi para ni Luffy, simula lang, simula pa lang, to be free. Itong Gear 5 Luffy, o itong talagang awakened fruit ni Luffy, is a good representation of freedom. Not just sa One Piece verse, not just kay Luffy, well, it is kay Luffy, but also from the author, Oda. Siya pa mismo nagsabi sa interviews niya na yung powers ni Luffy ay inspired sa Tom and Jerry. You wanna know why? Kasi from the start, we all know One Piece is not gonna be a serious anime. We all know from the start, ito yung meant ni Oda. A rubber boy. A boy eat a rubber fruit. Lalo na nung part na naglaban sila na Enel, na which is sana hindi nyo ni-skip ang Skype arc. I can't believe people skip arcs. I can't believe you can do that. <laughs> Para siya nagkaroon ng ultra instinct nung laban nila doon. Dahil ginawa niya, hindi lang siya nag -isip. Like, he didn't even train for that. Pero yung mga reklamo naman din na pumangit to yung animation about it, mga One Piece fans to ha, na nagal sila pumangit yung animation, it's not. Andun pa rin yung epicness ng animation. Na-prove na already ng One Piece na kaya nilang i-up yung game nila sa animation. Na to the point na every episode, it feels like a movie. Right? <laughs> Kula lang yung sound effects. Yeah, I think they can up the game to sound effects. But, it doesn't matter, the animation is really, really good na. Perhaps yung mga latest episodes like in Zoro vs. King, ang angas na angas na animation na yun. Pero yung scene na yun, it's supposed to be serious. Pero yung kay Luffy, ang episode na yun, it's about Joy Boy. Si Joy Boy makes people laugh. Pag ginawa mong serious animation, itong Joy Boy na to, hindi na nagmi-make sense. It will not justify his power as Joy Boy. I think that makes sense now from the start. <laughs> now this episode, expect tayo ng Toon Force, ng Toon Animation. It is meant to be like that because Oda wants that freedom for One Piece and for Luffy and for himself as the author of One Piece. <laughs> and maybe that's why Oda take inspiration from Tom and Jerry to express yung panagdodrawing siya, to laugh. You know, kasi it's freedom na pagdodrawing niya. He can do draw finally na, you know, para hindi lahat ng transformation, like palakas ng palakas, paseryoso ng paseryoso. He wants to make, you know, people happy. That's why it's Joy Boy. You know, like, pag nakita mo siya, they will laugh. Actually, ang aangas nga, dahil this proves na hindi niya kailangan i-follow up yung mga major anime trends na kung saan seryoso yung mga power-ups. Lahat, halos lahat lagi ng mga power-ups, laging seryoso. They're gonna be like MUI na sobrang seryoso na ni Goku. Like Naruto, kung saan he even got serious sa Naruto Byron mode, hindi siya pwede basta-basta maglabas ng mga jokes or what. Kasi kailangan niyang i-conserve yung energy niya dun sa, sa form na yun. And ganoon din sa Bleach. Ichigo is turning into a freaking menace. But it's really dope. Pero I think ito yung gustong message ni Oda sa mga One Piece fans. Na hindi lahat gustong i-prove ang isang bagay. Hindi lahat gusto maging magaling na leader. At hindi lahat gusto maging stronger and stronger and stronger. Ang iba, gusto lang nila ang kalayaan.